All right, number two. What is 0 0.5 as a fraction? So I want 0 0.5 as a fraction. So if I'm looking at these guys here, again, this here is a decimal, right? So this guy is here is a decimal. And in decimal, I care about um, two different things. Sorry, this is really bad to see. So it's a decimal, right? So in this case, I care about um, this here is our going through the whole part. It's the whole number. And this here will be the fraction part of my number, right? So in this case here, I have zero as my whole number, so I don't have to worry about my whole number. So I can kiss and really just erase this. And I just care about this fraction here. So 0 0.5 as a fraction would equal. So I'm gonna, I have, it's going to be something divided by something, right? It's going to be, I have a numerator and a denominator here. And in this case, because this is a decimal, this here is going to be in the tens place here, the tens digit here. And I only have one number in the tens digit here. So in this case here, because I only have one digit in the decimal, my denominator here is going to be a 10 for the tens place. And then my numerator is simply just simply the, the decimal part or the fraction part of my decimal, which is simply just five. And so 0 0.5 as a fraction is five over 10, but then I can also reduce this guy, right? I can reduce this by simply dividing both sides by the, or both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. In this case, this is a five. This will also be a five. So you get one over two here. And this here is going to be my answer for this problem. Half is the solution. So 0 0.5 equals five over 10, which equals one half. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis as well.